Hey guys, welcome back to Shannon Speaks. Today we have a different kind of video for you. It's a vlog of what I did with my niece this weekend. So please enjoy, watch, like, and subscribe. The vlog is gonna start as soon as this clip is over. And I hope, you know, you enjoy our company. We're out on a, is it a date? Yes. We're out on a date. Hi guys, if you know, it's me, Shidi Yokai, AKA, uh, Shidi Yokai, Shadi Yoki. No. <laughs> we just got some beaver tails. <laughs> We just got some beaver tails. I got an Oreo one. I know y'all can't see that. And I we we split a hot dog. It's actually good. Get one. It's all right. The pretzel ones are better. I like it more than the pretzel one. No, it's, it's crispy. It's crispier. It's crispier. If you like crispy, go for a uh, castor. A what? It's not what a a castor. Uh, what'd you call it? A gopher? No, I said castor. A curd curd castor. I should go for a castor. Beaver tail. Beaver. <laughs> Beaver. I had, um, I ordered one and then asked for another one. <laughs> Cause I asked for She got one. a regular and then she ended up getting a Nutella one. I don't really like Nutella like that. Fight me. I don't care. I don't really like it like that. We might fight. Um, so yeah, after this, I don't know what we're doing, but. Getting tacos. Maybe, yeah. Well, is it four o'clock yet? I don't know. Mm. We're doing tacos after. Yeah, this really good taco place. It's like pretty authentic, mm -hmm. you know. But uh, yeah. So Amaria, a lot of people are like, like, have been talking about this new reckless song called WAP. Oh, I haven't listened to it yet. Don't. It's disgusting. All I have to say about it is, if guys can talk about that stuff, so can girls. That's it. That's what I was gonna ask you about. I was listening. I was listening to my podcast last night, and they were talking about the reactions from men, mm -hmm. especially like male rappers. If male rappers can talk about all type of nastiness, it's okay for female rappers. Because then, if you don't want female rappers to talk about that, don't talk about that. It's true. I male agree. rappers usually have more daughters than female rappers, anyway. Also, I have to say about it. Don't be a hypocrite, dog. But but what do you think about the appropriateness of it? But I agree. Not with, I agree. I agree. But, I agree with your opinion on like people being hypocritical because i think people someone was saying like people just don't like wow, to see really yeah. people oh let me see the cakes hey let me see all the fresh cakes seven. yeah you got small small feet fam swing them swing them let me see <laughs> <laughs> yes people were saying that um how if i can't remember what i was saying i just lost my thought you were talking about if it was yeah when women start to own their own sexuality that men have a problem with it because they can't monetize it right when women are they're like using their sexuality to monetize it and make them money and make them benefit men do it all the time and they have no problem when men when men do it it's okay because men are used to being in a position of power and authority and they're used to controlling the narrative but as soon as women take the time to control the narrative they want to say oh that's uncomfortable you're not used to it, it doesn't make it any different than when you do it though i'm well it is a little different because it's a woman talking about her own sexuality so it's a lot different but i mean i personally don't care what people sing about or rap about but like my only issue is like i think also men are uncomfortable because they don't know a lot about women's sexuality because they only care about how they're pleasured i guess so it makes them uncomfortable to hear about the stuff they probably can't accomplish or just like what you were saying about monetization because when you have a female rapper as a feature, like let's say Nikki or Cardi or someone else, it's right. not a problem because they're making money off the song. It's true, and they, because, the verse is just as nasty. But because they don't say anything, but because it's it's two female rappers and it's just them on the track just doing what they do, then it's a problem. And the thing I was more shocked about is how people were just so outra outraged because it's not even like that's a new type of style for um who is it cardi b and uh megan the stallion because they've, they've, always been, made, they've been making music like that it's like rico nasty or tiara whack made a song like that i'd be i wouldn't be super shocked but no be i'd be shocked a, yeah a little bit be, like oh okay that's, they're that's, trying something different that's not the type of music they make but like no nah. but yeah i was i don't care i just guys should stop being hypocrites and like relax because if we have to listen about you talking about all types of stuff yeah and I, like i said i think men, men are just not used to being sexualized that's like like even like when it comes to like male rape culture like men getting raped or men getting abused it's like they so silence one another. yeah it's very like hush hush you know what i'm saying like men don't really often get to come out and talk about that stuff like you know what i mean especially if they're straight like it's not like 
they don't get a lot of sympathy I find from society all the time or they feel like they're demasculized by it so they don't want to talk about it. Whereas, you know what I mean, we're so used to women's sexuality being um, a topic of conversation by anybody who wants to pick up and talk about it. You know what I mean? That we're just more used to it so we're not as outraged when other people do it. So I just think that people need to relax. I mean, I don't think it's appropriate. I think it was quite nasty. It, it's nasty. It sounds nasty. But rap is, hasn't, depending on the type of rap, modern rap it has, hasn't been clean lately. So there's no reason to be outraged. And don't try to use the, every time it's female rappers, they always try to use the role model thing. But it's like, be your own kid's role model or, or watch your own kid. Watch what they, watch what they pay attention to. Like, why should they have to, <clears throat> why should, why should, celebrities have to make sure what they post when they're grown people when you could just be like okay you cannot follow this person you cannot watch what this person does mm. it's not hard just be a parent but you guys only bring up the role model thing when you feel uncomfortable like it has nothing to do with your child you're just uncomfortable i think that i agree with you to us to an extent i think every parent has to take responsibility for their kid and what they listen to and stuff like that but i do think if you're gonna have that kind of position in this in society there is a certain level of social responsibility however it is not for me to enforce that social responsibility on you if you choose not to take it up do you understand yeah like this is what i'm saying like i can't force you to be a role model you should be a role model but i can't force you to be a role model the same way i couldn't force little wayne to be a role model you understand what i'm saying it's just that it's a double standard and because there's so much um there's like only a few spots when it comes to female rappers that are that publicized They're, they carry a lot more weight than if you know what i mean there's a slew of male rappers you know what i mean like yeah. you can pick and they can pick and choose who they want to be and then the other guy can just be whoever he wants to be because the other guy can do it like you know what i mean but yeah. there's like few and far between the female rappers that are big enough to to get that kind of like you know what i mean 1973 french music you, you guys don't mind if i have a seat no problem uh, we won't touch you, you guys thank you here. you know what i said i don't know gang signs i know jutsus i'm lying i can barely do i can barely do fire style i don't even know what you're talking about is this jutsus? anime anime again yeah this cute kid she's so cute oh Pumpkin? I don't even like pumpkin like that. You gotta buy black. You gotta buy black. I would love a black coffee place. I bet that place would be lit. <laughs> Did you? That place would be lit. I know a black you, coffee place? Time you could get sorrow. <laughs> no. Ah, that, that's Caribbean. That's Caribbean. Alright. Well, Caribbean coffee place. Great. What's that? Is that? That's what's going on over there. I never knew that. How's that so the you? man, yeah, I don't know. The fair was fair to wheel, yes. No, fam. What? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> but it's like they have all that stuff blown up. Like there's like some kind of what child. Is not time? I don't know what's going on. Was fun, though. So fun. the homeless, the homeless guy, was talking to me. He had no mask on. I was concerned, I and he wasn't six feet. Around. To save your I'm life, fam. You want me to ask if he's single? <laughs> <laughs> of course he heard you. <laughs> this fool. I found your husband. You want me to ask him if he's single? <laughs> <laughs> he turned around. <laughs> hey, that's what she did. Because he turned around. He was walking backwards for a second. Yeah. You want me to go back again? No. What if he's a Christian? What if he's a pastor? You just lost your life. Your love. The, they don't come like that, fam. You never know. He's too short. He's your height. That's too short? Yes, fam. What? Amaria? I'm not tall, so I don't have those type of problems. Exactly. Not that I like super tall guys. That's weird to me. You need to like your books. I do. I read every day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Caribbean <laughs> problem. <laughs> I just said I don't like super tall guys. Yeah, I know. Uh, why not? Because it looks weird. And it looks strange. I feel like tall girls should get the tall guys. It's not fair. Period. Like when I see uh, a 5'3 girl with a 6'2, with a I'm like, well, that's not fair, sis. We need to take in all the tall ones. I heard that someone that's 4'4. Wow. So now you just wasted three months with someone who doesn't really like it. It's true. It's a strange, what is it called, a fetish? That's strange. That's strange. It is a bit strange. 
But people just want to be liked. This is a horrible angle for me and a very good angle for you. I'm not trying to walk in the shore like this. <laughs> shore life. <laughs> I'm out here almost six feet. Putting the camera for the oh, top. I'm almost six feet. I, I thought I was 5'3". If you're almost 6 feet, that means I'm 5'5". Five five. I haven't been... I don't know my height. I don't know my height. I know my average. I know my ballpark. I know I don't date Actually, anyone under 5'9". Actually, if I take off these forces, I'll be a little shorter. Only a little bit. Okay. I run flats, so... Flat. And my toes are actually done. Wow. My toes were painted, but they're starting to trip because I didn't have a top coat. No top coat? Like blood of Jesus, my, my god, this homeless man just talked straight in my mouth. <sighs> That's how it felt. I didn't turn around. Jesus! The man was all <coughs> he didn't cough. You guys heard it. But he was just too close. I'm just like Where are we going? The car. What? What's that song from? Where are we going? No no no. Dora. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no! What is what is that? What are we gonna do? We Where are, are we going? Ba, 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 ba. I don't remember the words. It's tap, tap, tap. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. You know, whatever. The taco place. Oh, What's I thought called? you meant the original words. No. Come oh. on, fam. We're gonna get bubble tea and stuff. We just got some bubble tea. I always got my favorite strawberry. What'd I you got get? some mango, mango milk. I don't really like mango like that, so I feel like that tastes nasty. It's alright. I should have gotten the lychee, the lychee tea. That's what I wanted. You want to try mine? Do you got uh, any symptoms? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm gonna hate this. <laughs> okay, where is this place? It's literally up here. Alright. I think. Ew, okay, this is tasting worse and worse as I drink it. I should have just gone to lychee one. I told you to get the brown sugar one, it's crazy. <laughs> it literally tastes like Earl Grey. This one is so good. Do you wanna rub it in again? Don't be shy, rub it in some more. Whatever. I'll live with it. I'll just take this for the snap. People everywhere. I have not been downtown. People everywhere. It's too much. There's like one other person on the sidewalk at a time. I'm not used to this at all. Like at all. Mm. The bubbles. I love it. I love the tapioca balls. Oh, okay. Okay, now we're going to get tacos. Does come with the side or something? <laughs> Where you guys pay rent from? Sorry? Where you pay rent from? Oh, I'm her parents. Huh? I'm her parents. You what? So guys, we're in Chinatown, we just got our food. We can't dine inside, so we're dining out here. These are aesthetics. <laughs> These are full potatoes. Yum! Trying to challenge shopping. We're about to buy some hats, bucket hats. Oh, and any other thing that seems mildly attractive. Oh, wow, Bye, Montreal! Or old Montreal, rather. Always! Bought some stuff. Yes. Had a good day. You had a good day? Oh, it was a great day. I had a great day. The weather was great. 
The weather was amazing. Oh, it's gonna be boiling hot, but this is a breeze. But anyways, we're gonna go home now. And um had a good day. Have some bonding. See you next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs>